bugs. Are they pests or a nutritious snack? One Lansing man says the latter. Fox 37's Megan Heiler met him today to show us what he's up to. Yeah, here, this is the beetle drawer for this. If you walk into Eric Zay's basement, you'll find some chairs, a few lamps, and two large stacks of plastic drawers. But inside those drawers aren't socks or stray tools, but insects in all different stages of life. The oldest are here and they get two weeks younger as you go up. He started insect farming about six months ago after stumbling upon a video when he was looking for ideas for a club for students. So I decided that if, um, you know, if I was going to teach kids how to, in the, uh, how to grow insects and incorporate them into their diet, I should probably do it myself. Zay says bugs are a popular dish around the world, and if you can stomach them, they have a lot of health benefits. Insects are actually uh, classified as a superfood because of the very high content of minerals and nutrients, fats, uh, and protein. On top of that, Zay says eating bugs is better for the environment. The meat industry right now, particularly beef, not just beef and pork, but those are the worst offenders, uh, they actually produce more greenhouse gases than all the cars in North America. It's a, very, it's a very important problem both as far as feeding a growing population and also in uh, preventing, you know, trying to keep the earth from hitting that tipping point as far as climate change goes. Whether it's crickets, mealworms, or beetles that make your mouth water or make you cringe, Zay wants people to keep an open mind. What happens elsewhere in the world affects us here too. I, I get that there's, the, there's kind of an immediate ick factor, and I get that because I had it too. It goes away pretty quickly once you try them. I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. Zay says there's a lot of different ways you can season the insects by feeding them. One of his favorites was a cinnamon, which he says tasted like cinnamon bread. Insects are a popular cuisine in Thailand, Ghana, Mexico, and other countries around the world.